are on their way to the outer atmosphere. Inside of them is my experiment. I'm testing to see how well a small motor operates in extreme atmospheric conditions. In order to test it, I visually measured the speed of rotation of the gears. During the balloon flight, I recorded my motor. I started by fully watching all 88 minutes of available flight video at 8 times speed. The gears have colored stripes to easily see the rotations. I was watching to see any drastically changing speeds, but there weren't any. My next observations looked for more subtle changes. The video was played at 1 times speed, and the number of rotations were counted for 60 seconds. This was done several times for different altitudes. My baseline data prior to launch at 360 meters above sea level here in Nebraska shows the motor spins at 46 RPMs. 10 minutes after launch, the balloon reached an altitude of 3,700 meters, spinning at 46 RPMs. 12 minutes later, at 8,300 meters, it was still spinning at 46 RPMs. This trend of 46 RPMs, plus or minus 1 RPM, stayed constant at four other timestamps around the maximum altitude reached around 12,000 meters. Interestingly, the altitude data was not collected for about 30 minutes while the balloon likely maintained a maximum altitude. The camera on my experiment continued to record, however. The 500 meter loss in altitude shortly after the apex of the flight still showed 47 RPMs. These results indicated that the flight showed no discernible difference for the function of the small motor. When the experiment was recovered after the flight, the motor was actively running. Based on this data, my hypothesis that the motor's function would change as the atmospheric conditions change was disproven. However, as a follow-up test several days later, the motor was tested again. The battery was fully charged, but with two repeated tests resulting in 44 RPMs, it showed that something definitely changed from the flight. Was it the violent landing? Perhaps lubrication was slightly drying out. Maybe the motor slowed down just from simple wear and tear for running for two and a half hours straight on that flight. It would be interesting to run this experiment again with motors that have better specification documentation and with other sizes of motors. In the end, designing an experiment and launching a high altitude balloon was truly a great experience. I hope to share this opportunity with my students in the near future. Thank you.